Hello all. Hi. This is Abhishek. I am going to talk about my uh, on-step build, which currently uses the VMOS board and the CNC shield and the AI Thinker ESP8266 Wi-Fi module for the full setup. So. Among the board, what we basically have to use is the VMOS D1 R32 module. This is very important that you get, you do get different versions of this, but please ensure that you pick up the D32 module and not any other one. This is the CNC shield. Uh, to this, I have connected my power uh, module over here. I have two 8825 uh, uh, stepper motors, uh, stepper drivers here, and I have two 4988 uh, drivers over here. These jumpers have been set, these jumpers have been set to uh, 32, and these jumpers have been set over here to 16 for maximum stepping. Uh, Based on that, I have my uh, configuration for uh, on-step setup over here. This is what their gear ratios uh, and all have. This is what I will be setting on my build and I will be uh, putting that onto the board as part of this exercise. I am using a splitter which is a very very simple splitter to split my power into two one of which will be connected here and one which will be connected to the Wi-Fi one I probably will shorten this after a few days but as of right now while I'm still tinkering with the final build I am I have still kept it quite long this I is the uh, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module that I will be using which will be connected here to uh, using these pins over here uh, these are fairly simple so it's just simple plug and play uh, the only thing you have to be careful for is checking where the enable port is the enable port for all these motors are on top over here and in the case of the 8825, the enable port is on top as well. You can actually turn it around and see where. So you can see over here, it is written as EN, which then is a simple push operation here. The motors are connected over here. I am using NEMA 17 motors, which have 400 steps and that is then those NEMA motors will get connected over here this is a very very simple push you push them set them on top of each other and you push it and that is how you set this up now the few important things as far as the build goes that people should follow is When you are setting this up, you will be able to uh, check the board manager. I hope this is visible. It's important that these versions, which for the ESP32, which is for the Wi-Fi, you set up, at least when we are using this, you set up the 1.0.4 version. And with that, you set up the 2.4.2 if you are using the EP, uh, ESP8266 module. These are the only two versions that are compatible with each other. Okay, now I have connected the board with my uh, computer and I will now under tools I have selected the board from the board manager as the VMOS
one and I have set the specification this is the com port that I have attached to and this is the config file that is generated with Khalid's brilliant uh, generator I have set up what I want to call my mount I've turned on Bluetooth over here this is German equatorial and I have it has generated it with the correct drivers the number of micro steps all that have entered into the uh, config and this will now compile this and install this onto the board while it is doing that I will show you the only piece of soldering I have done in this entire project which is to solder this bit this allows me to attach the uh, Wi-Fi module to this and then this goes this gets plugged into my laptop which allows me to load the web server onto the Wi-Fi module and without this thing it will not get into drive mode at all you can also push in something more closer where you can put in the jumper directly over here as well as you can see now this is building and this is now writing that configuration which is there onto the board and now it is done so now it is compiled this and it has installed that same configuration onto the board just to show you this is the web server x config and as you can see currently i have set it up to uh, not use as an access point rather i have enabled this to be uh, to connect to my local wi-fi where i have set up my this will be basically the configuration where you set up what your local network is and this is the password you want to set you have to turn this as true for it to be able to connect to your local Wi-Fi if you have any and this is if you want to enable an access point where you connect your phone to that Wi-Fi now this is with the motors connected as you can see the drivers have been uh, the motors have been connected to the drivers here and the Wi-Fi module has also been connected to the CNC board. This is the RA axis and this currently has a 16 by 64 uh, pulley wheels connected to each of it which is the same ratio on the declination axis as well. We are roughly pointed north right now. We are now going to select one of the stars on the east which is towards my right and we are now going to go to that. 